Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question 14. The value of a car, V, can be modelled by the equation V equals 15,700 e to the minus 0.25t plus 2,300, where the age of the car, t years, is in t years. Using the model, find the initial value of the car. So this is going to be an easy part of the question. That's just when t is equal to 0. So when t is equal to 0, e to the power of 0 is 0. So, so e to the power of 0 is 1. So then the value is going to be 15,700 add 2,300. So it's going to be 18, 19,000. 19,000 pounds is the value of the car initially. Given that the model predicts that the value of the car is decreasing at a rate of 500 pounds per year at the instant when t equals t, show that uh, 3925 e to the minus uh, 0.25t equals 500. So, uh, given that the model predicts decreasing, so at this case, in this case, we need to differentiate. If we're looking to find the value of decrease, we need to differentiate. Now, the way you differentiate an e um, equation is you times the minus 0.25 to the front, and then you just leave it as e to the minus 0.25. So, we need to do on the calculator, 15,700 times minus 0.25, and that will give us minus 3, 9, 2, 5, E, and you leave it as e minus 0.25t. So it's a bit of different, different, different differentiation to just x to the power of something. You differentiate e differently here. And that's going to equal the decreasing rate. That would be minus 500, because that's the rate of change of the value of this car. The rate of change of the value of this car would be minus 500. So therefore, 3925e to the minus 0.25t equals 500 when we cancel out the negatives on both sides. So that's the answer to part i. Then i i is going to be hence find the age of the car at this instant, giving your answer to years and months. So let's take the 500 and divide it by 3,925. So 500 divided by 3,925. That will give us 20 over 157. Then how do you get rid of the E? Well, you get rid of the E by learning both sides. So it's going to be minus 0.25t equals ln 20 over 157. Then we'll times by minus 4. Minus 4 ln 20 over 157. So let's now calculate this. It's going to be minus 4 ln fraction button 20 over 157, close brackets, and that's going to give us 8.242. So now if we want it in years and months, it's going to be 8 years. And now on the calculator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away 8, so just leave me with the, frac the decimal bit there and then times it by 12, and that will give me 2.9, so I'm going to say 8 years and 3 months. So the way I worked out 3 months is I took 0 0.242 dot 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 and multiplied it by 12, and that will give me the amount of months. And in this case it gave me 2.9, so I rounded it up to 8 years and 3 months. So that will be the age of the car. Moving on to part C and part D, uh, the model predicts that the value of the car um, approaches but does not fall below A. State the value of A. That's going to be the little bit that is added at the end. It's going to be 2,300 because this value here will decrease towards zero if you let time continue on and on and on. Uh, but then it's plus 2,300, so therefore um, A equals 2,300. State a limitation of this model. Well, a limitation of this model might be other factors can be included in the price, such as mileage or condition, or the price may rise as the become as the 
car becomes more rare over a long period of time. So there we are. I'm not going to write that down, but if you if you want to make a note that it's um, the price might be um, my price might have different variables such as mileage or condition of the car, or it might increase in price after it becomes a very rare car. So just any any kind of explanation as to why it might not just be related to age. So there we are, that's the answer for question 14 there, that's nine marks. Let's now move on to question 15.